today we are starting a new electric bike project and for our donor we're using this MX350 by Razor. This bike is decent if you're let's say five years old and 50 pounds but I am neither so we need to set up a, a test test run, baseline, a, a sample run, to figure out, you know, what it, what it can do and... Safety, check. Now that we have all those very technical and scientific data points figured out, uh, we can start tearing down the, the rest of this bike. And we'll start with uh, the plastics and just kind of get everything off so we can see what it is we're working with. So to get these plastics off, there should just be a couple of screws back here and one up here. And I think this is just a couple of screws left in it. Somebody took out most of them already. So as you can see on the inside here, all these are just held in with a healthy dose of hot glue, which you can just pry apart and... We got all the electronics out. Um, some of them resisted a bit, but uh, I mean, if you ask nicely, most of the time they just kind of come apart. But then if they don't, just grab a hammer. This can be a hammer. I mean, this can be even a hammer. I mean, a hammer can be a hammer. And you just give it a little persuasion and it'll come apart. That being said, uh, we have the motor to take off yet. And uh, we're gonna get these handlebars off too. As you can see, we have all the electronics stripped out of the frame. So I think at this point, we're ready to start figuring out how we're gonna, you know, cut it up into what we need. And I do want to make this uh, rear suspension at least. And to do that, we're going to use this as the, the swing arm. So we're going to cut the caps off and we'll end up making uh, bushings that sit inside of here that our frame can mount up to. So that means we're going to cut this top tube here, this tube something here, and then we're going to cut these guys right here for the time being. All right, so you can see that we have uh, two halves already. And if you look closely here, you can see that there's three little tacks on each cap. So we're just gonna cut these little tack welds out and that should give us our tube spacing. And then what we'll probably do is just bend these in and down to kind of bring these together. And that should form the back support for our swing arm. What I think I want to do is add a curve piece in here. So this is a pretty good curve section here. So I think what we're going to do is cut this section out and then cut off these tabs and clean it up to fit in here. So what we'll probably do is just cut it something right there. With this cut out, you can kind of start to see how it's going to lay in there once we cut this off and clean it up a bit. We cleaned up that frame section 
cut it down and I think that's about the size that we want. We do want to leave enough room in here just in case we go to a bigger motor. And then I also cut in these side tabs so that we can kind of flex this and bend it in a bit. At this point we have everything I've ground down to about where we want it to go, so I think uh, we're just going to tack this together and... So I think that's pretty good. At this point I only want to put tacks in it in case uh, we have to cut something apart and uh, like change it down the line when we get the rest of the frame built, but I think that looks pretty good for now. Alright, for our mock-up so far, we have the, the back swing arm just kind of set in place and this just kind of set in place about where we think it'll go. And uh, I made the you know center axle to center axle about four feet, which is that of a 26-inch uh, mountain bike, give or take. So I think that should be pretty stable for what we're looking for. So at this point, I'm going to start cleaning up these, cutting off this, because I'm not sure exactly how much of this I'm going to use, if, if any of it, so we'll just start cutting and see where we get. So to uh, build the frame, we're using this one inch uh, steel tubing. It's a uh, 16th inch wall, 060, and uh, we just got to bend it into our shape. All right, we're gonna have to try that a different way. So with the front section of the frame all cleaned up, uh, we're ready to attack these cut parts together. So here we have the frame all tacked together and uh, it's looking pretty good. So to bend the tubes, we end up just using map gas on a torch and put in the, the tubing bender to get those to bend. Same thing back here. You can see it's all just heat marked. But at this point, we're ready to start working on mounting our rear swing arm here. I think the key when doing this kind of uh, work is make sure you use every clamp that you have. Alright, that's pretty good there. can do our shock and connect these two. So we're just using one of these cheap eBay shock things. And we already cut out a handful of brackets so we'll just bolt these guys together and then wherever it lines up on here is where we'll weld them in. So uh, the suspension seems good. I like it. And uh, I'm ready to start working on the handlebars now. And I'm guessing we want to be the top of the handlebars, let's say 22. So it appears I forgot to uh, record the uh, making of the handlebars, but let me just talk you through it. So we basically just took the old handlebars, welded a section of tube, and then another smaller section of tube to fit in these clamps and that way um, if we want to move it around we can always loosen these up and drop the handlebars down throw it in the trunk of a car or something at this point i think i can start disassembling everything 
welding up the frame solid and getting it ready for paint. Now that our uh, frame is all welded up, uh, we can start working on the, the platform. So for that we're just using a piece of uh, 3 8 plywood, which we had already roughly cut down. Now we can flip it over and kind of trace this profile up here. And just like that, uh, we have all of our pieces uh, painted. Uh, we end up going with a uh, like a hammered uh, gray, and uh, mainly because it hides a lot of uh, you know poor sanding, and uh, it's also what we had. So there we go. Let's uh, start bolting this guy together. something like that with uh, a series of toes on there and I think that'll look pretty cool. up all put back together I think it turned out pretty cool um, last thing to do is really uh, we got to charge up these batteries and uh, go take it for a rip
Well, I'm pretty happy with the way that it turned out. Uh, it handles awesome. It turns really well. The biggest problem is that uh, we didn't address the power at all. So it still goes, you know, the same speed as the stock razor. So that's going to be something that we need to address. Make sure you uh, like and subscribe because in future videos, I think what we're going to do is... Uh, is upgrade this to a 48 volt 2000 watt motor system hope you guys like this video and um, hit that subscribe button it's free to do and it helps us out so until next time thanks and take care